it's great to see you today. This week's theme is in the jungle. I wonder what kind of animals you would find in the jungle. Well, let's start with our hello song and then read a couple of stories so we can find out. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine. How about you? How are you today? My first book today is titled Rumble in the Jungle, written by Giles Andre and published by Scholastic Books. There's a rumble in the jungle. There's a whisper in the trees. The animals are waking up and rustling the leaves. The hippos at the water hole, the leopards in his lair. The chimpanzees are chattering and swinging everywhere. Some animals are frightening and some are sweet and kind. So let's go to the jungle now and see who we can find. Chimpanzee. It's great to be a chimpanzee swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we munch each other's fleas. Lion. The lion's the king of the jungle who quietly sits on his paws. But everyone quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaws. Elephant. It's great to be an elephant, all big and fat and round, and wander through the jungle just elephing around. Zebra. I could have been gray like a donkey or brown like my cousin the mule, but instead I've got stripes, which my lady friends like since they make me look handsome and cool. Snake. The boa constrictor's a slippery snake who squashes and then swallows his prey. He knows that it's not very kindly or friendly, but they do taste much nicer that way. Giraffe. Some animals laugh at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up high and feel proud. I really don't care when my head's in the air and my cheeks getting kissed by a cloud. Hippopotamus. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun till I'm hot. And when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud, which hippos like doing a lot. Crocodile. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't resist chomping a few. Rhinoceros. The ravenous rhinoceros is big, strong, and tough, but his skin is all baggy and flappy, which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch, and that makes him terribly happy. Gazelle. No one can run half as quickly as me, the galloping gorgeous gazelle. I can leap up so high that my horn touches the sky, and I'm awfully pretty as well. Gorilla. The gorilla is big, black, and hairy, and the thing that he likes to do best is to look all ferocious and scary and wallop his giant great chest. Leopard. If you meet a hungry leopard prowling through the night, make sure you call him sir and be incredibly polite. A tiger. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when he's near, 
but his eyes shine like lights in the blackest of nights, and his growl makes you tremble with fear. The night has started falling, but the jungle never sleeps. The vultures circle slowly while the leopard softly creeps. And if you listen quietly, you might just hear the growl of a hungry pair of panthers who are still out on the prowl. The lions and their little cubs are sleeping in their den. So let's leave them till tomorrow when we'll visit them again. Was there a tiger in the story I just read? There was, wasn't there? So I think we should do a felt board activity with five little tigers. Five little tigers out for a stroll. One, two, three, four, five. One tripped on a rock and he started to roll. He bounced down the hill and landed with a flop. How many tigers are left walking up top? One, two, three, four little tigers out for a stroll. One tripped on a rock and he started to roll. He bounced down the hill and landed with a flop. How many tigers are left walking up top? One, two, three. Three little tigers out for a stroll. One tripped on a rock and he started to roll. He bounced down the hill and he landed with a flop. How many tigers are left walking on top? One, two. Two little tigers out for a stroll. One tripped on the rock and he started to roll. He bounced down the hill and he landed with a flop. How many tigers are left walking on top? One little tiger out for a stroll. He tripped on a rock and he started to roll. He bounced down the hill and he landed with a flop. How many tigers are left walking up top? None. There are no more tigers out for a stroll. The next book I have to read today is titled Over in the Jungle by Marianne Burks and published by Don Publications. Over in the jungle where the trees greet the sun lived a mother marmoset and her marmoset one. Swing, said the mother. I swing, said the one. So they swung and they hung where the trees greet the sun. Over in the jungle wearing wings of shiny blue lived a morpho butterfly and her little morphos too. Flit, said the mother. We flit said the two, so they flitted and they fluttered, wearing wings of shiny blue. Over in the jungle on a leafy canopy lived a noisy mother parrot and her little parrots three. Squawk, said the mother. We squawk, said the three, so they squawked and they walked on a leafy canopy. Over in the jungle on the rainforest floor lived a leaf cutter ant and her little ants four. Scurry, said the mother. We scurry, said the four. So they scurried and they hurried on the rainforest floor. Over in the jungle near a big beehive lived a mother honey bear and her little honeys five. Scramble, said the mother. We scramble, said the five. So they scrambled and they rambled toward a big beehive. hive. 
over in the jungle, curled around some mossy sticks, lived a long mother boa and her little boa six. Squeeze, said the mother. We squeeze, said the six. So they squeezed and were pleased, curled around some mossy sticks. Over in the jungle, in the bromelade heaven, lived a poison dart frog and her little froggy seven. Hop, said the mother. We hop, said the seven. So they hopped and they flopped in bromelade heaven. Over in the jungle, where she knew how to wait, lived a mother ocelot and her ocelots ate. Pounce, said the mother. We pounce, said they ate. So they pounced and they bounced and they learned how to wait. Over in the jungle, hanging from a heavy vine, lived a super slow sloth and her little sloth's nine. Creep, said the mother. We creep, said the nine. So they crept, then they slept, hanging from a heavy vine. Over in the jungle, in the rainforest den, lived a father howler monkey and his little howler's ten. Whoop, said the father. We hoop, said the ten. So they hooted and they hollered in their rainforest den. I have a song for us to sing, but I'm going to need your help. I need you to make the animal sounds with me. I think this is going to be fun. If you're a tiger and you know it, give a roar. Roar. If you're a tiger and you know it, give a roar. Roar. If you're a tiger and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a tiger and you know it, give a roar. Roar. If you're a monkey and you know it, make monkey sounds. If you're a monkey and you know it, make monkey sounds. If you're a monkey and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a monkey and you know it, make monkey sounds. If you're a macaw and you know it, say caw, caw. If you're a macaw and you know it, say caw, caw. If you're a macaw and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a macaw and you know it, say If you're a snake and you know it, make a hiss. If you're a snake and you know it, make a hiss. If you're a snake and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a snake and you know it, make a hiss. I had a great time today, and I hope you did too. I'll be here next week with more stories and fun. But until then, it's time for our goodbye song. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye, see you all next time. Bye!